Everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com. It's after the close on October 4th, 2012. We're going to use some time-honored techniques to understand, or at least give it our best shot to understand modern markets, featuring daily technical analysis videos of the S&P 500 Index. Got to remind you that the website and the video are for educational purposes only, and nothing stated at the site or in this video is intended to be used as investment advice. I control lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research, and you need to be making investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. And you know, you might need to talk to a pro to find out what's suitable. I'm not that guy because I'm not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy that draws lines on charts. So let's take a look at the chart for today. We actually had something happen. Okay, we're looking at a 15-minute chart of the S&P. We had drawn uh, a symmetrical triangle pattern uh, back from the 13th through um, the 25th of um, September. And that pattern broke down, did not really reach its minimum expected target. But the, 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 the S&P began to rally back on a series of moves that looked like it was it was gearing up for a go at this apex level. Then it sold back pretty sharply, came back again to this uh, extended resistance line from this pattern, and then today broke out over that line. And uh, you you might ask yourself, well, why might that happen? Well, the, 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 the painfully obvious answer is there were a lot of buyers today. And you have to ask yourself, why were there a lot of buyers today? And I'm going to, again, I'm not going to get overly political about this, but I don't think there's any doubt that the market would view a Romney presidency as being a boon to business. So I believe that's why we, we got maybe this, uh, this move today. And it may be very short-lived, um, but I think now that we are over this, this line right here, we have to look at this entire pattern that took place over the past two and a half or so weeks. I think we need to look at this as a potentially as a consolidation. And if we can get over this extended line right here, then that move to the 1480s is is looking up fairly likely. Again, if we back out a bit, let's go to an hourly chart, and we go to our rising channel. Here's our top resistance line. Here's our bottom support line. We eventually did, it appears, find support. And now we are back over a couple of other lines that I thought might present a problem to the market, but it just, it just went over them. Now, you'll notice... If we look at a 10-minute chart, 15-minute will do it better. Come on, come to daddy. You'll notice that the the we kind of put the brakes on right at about this extended support line, and this this makes it very interesting because you remember what the 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 the, the tendency for trend lines. Uh, the tendency for trend lines is rising support lines, once broken, tend to act as resistance, okay? So here we had a rising support line, tested a few times, once broken, tends to work as resistance. But also, um, descending resistance lines, once broken tend to act as support. So what we've, uh, I think we may have effectively done here is we've now got two, trying to move this, forget it. Um, what I think we may be uh, seeing happening here, there we go, now it finally moves. I don't know why that lag is. Is if we extend this line on up, you can see that there is plenty of room now for the, for the uh, S&P to stay underneath this line while still 
making decent gains. And if we look at this uh, channel, you can see that we would need to break this line in order to get to this resistance line in this channel. So this, this sets up some interesting stuff going on here. So it is possible because the, this line and this line, uh, to begin with, these are these are short-term lines. Okay, so they 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 can definitely um, get taken out without too much difficulty. But at least for the short term, I would expect this to be resistance and this to be support. Now that we're over this line. So let me do one more thing real quickly. You'll know that at times I have done the little exercise where we snap a line that uh, is in the middle of a channel. And I'm going to do that again once I get a little bit more space in this channel. Okay, there we go. Looking, uh, looking now at a 30 minute view. Is if we extend this little uh, midway line on up out of here just a little bit during uh, uh, bisecting the green channel, you can see that it looks like this, this line also has a, a little bit of technical significance on its own. Not quite as much as what I've seen in some other charts, but you know that they, they have that old adage in a technical analysis that says the flag flies at half mast. And what that really means is is that from the from the low to a high, it's not unusual to have um, some turbulence or some resistance set up about halfway uh, along that move. So you can see back here, for example, uh, the S&P uh, rallied off the 13, uh, mid 1320s met resistance at, at about halfway, and then finished the move getting up to this top line. Okay, This time it went lower, came up, hesitated, came back up. This time it, it behaved a little differently, and instead set up a, um, a what looked like it may be a, a, a head and shoulders reversal, but it never got confirmed, so we ignored it. And instead, we got a bounce on our support line. Boy, that sure looked like it was ready to plow down through there, too. But, you know, it, it doesn't plow down through that line until it plows down through that line. And if had it done that, then we would have known roughly what to expect from the size and shape of this pattern. So right now, it appears that um, we are coming up on potentially this line as well in the short term. So... What's the, what's the takeaway? Well, I think we could just keep saying the same thing. Watch this green line. If you're long, hang with it until this green line gets taken out. Um, if you're looking for a spot to short and you're really antsy about doing that, I'd wait for this green line to get taken out. I may even wait for this little uh, secondary support line down here to get taken out just to be a little safer. Because this market has been killing shorts for years. So, you know, I, I want you to be on the right side of things. So, strength today, if we look at this, uh, l l this little um, pattern here, I don't think we see anything clear enough, to be honest with you, that tells us much about an expected target. So, all I know is, uh, is that, and if somebody sees something I'm missing, please share it. But all I'm seeing is the technical significance of having gotten over this um, resistance line that should now turn this into support. But I think we would probably see this line act as resistance. So this could be setting up essentially some sidewaysness for a while. Now, if we get uh, some some strong news or something, you know, you know, like I said, these are all short-term lines; they can get taken out. But this is still the line right here <coughs> that I think 
really is the 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 uh, the, um, the trend line that we use to tell us that this upwards leg is likely over. And so far, we have bounced off of it time and time again. And, you know, that makes it all the more powerful as far as its reliability. But it also makes it all the more powerful if, well, not if, when it breaks. So, guys, watch this line. That's the big takeaway for today. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for your support, your subscription. We are getting really close to uh, uh, to having been doing this for two years, but having been a, a subscription basis for one year. And I just want to thank everybody who who has supported the effort. Um, this has been uh, a, a, a rousing success, much better than I had ever imagined. And I just want to thank you, and I hope, that, uh, that you'll come back for more, and I hope that you get something out of this and you feel that it's, it's, it's worth your investment. So look, guys, take care, and good luck to you tomorrow in the markets.